Hey guys, it's Ben. It's Friday Back Porch Blessing. And today I'm going to say a couple of prayers from the prayer book and then share with you a really um, powerful and meaningful song for me. And um, today is, is a heavy day for me, um, and maybe it is for you. Uh, a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions uh, this week, and um, I have been keeping the sick in my prayers. I have um, some friends that are sick with COVID-19, and um, God willing, they are on their way toward recovery, but they're not out of the woods yet. And um, so I, I hope you'll join me in praying for them and for all the sick around the world, um, just holding those people, um, fighting this, um, in various ways, just in your hearts, as, um, as we are called to do. Uh, so today our prayers are for the sick. Um, I have prayers uh, for the recovery from sickness from the prayer book. And um, I love this prayer because it, it is um, a hopeful and optimistic prayer in the face of illness. O God of heavenly powers, by the might of your command, you drive away from our bodies all sickness and all infirmity. Be present in your goodness with your servants that are sick, so their weakness may be banished and their strength restored, and that their health being renewed, they may bless your holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. My second prayer is kind of for all of us, because I think along with the physical illness that goes along um, with this stuff, there's a soul sickness uh, for us as well, loneliness, anxiety, um, fear, um, all these things that, that keep us um, from, from the, that peace that passes all of our understandings. And so this is a prayer for the health of body and soul, and it's on page 460 in the prayer book. It's a, it's a good one. May God the Father bless you, God the Son heal you, God the Holy Spirit give you strength. May God the holy and undivided Trinity guard your body, save your soul, and bring you safely to his heavenly country, where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. There's lots of good prayers uh, for the ministration to the sick in the prayer book. I hope you'll take a look at them and just pray them. Uh, just keep praying lifting up those in our hearts and in our minds and those we love and those we don't know um, so that we can uh, feel more and more connected as the body of Christ, as the people of God, as the family of God. Um, I think that's kind of the point of my song for today. Um, it's from musical theater, uh, which is a big love of mine. Uh, this past summer, um, Cooper and Linda and I went to New York and got to see Dear Evan Hansen. And there's a beautiful song in that um, musical called You Will Be Found. And the lyrics uh, go like this. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear? Well, let that lonely feeling wash away. Maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay. Because when you don't feel strong enough to stand, you can reach, reach out your hand. And oh, someone will come running. And I know they'll take you home. Even when the dark comes crashing through, when you need a friend to carry you, and when you're broken on the ground, you will be found. So let the sun come streaming in, because you'll reach up and you'll rise again. Lift your head and look around. You will be found. It's important for us to remember that we're not alone. And that when we feel down, and we will feel down, that God is with us and that we are together, when, even when we're not together. That somehow through all of this we'll find deeper and meaningful ways more meaningful ways of connection than we ever thought or imagined and as we enter into this particular week in our life together uh, for the christian tradition for the episcopal church the holy week 
of our Christian calendar, that we'll walk in the footsteps of the one who loves us more than we could ever love ourselves, the one who loves us and is our hope in all. So I'm grateful today to be able to share with you the simple truth that we're not alone, that we're loved, and that God is with us every step of the way in sickness and in health. Thanks be to God. I'm grateful. Keep the faith. Know you're loved. And we'll talk soon.